Heather Duplessy Allen Drive, weekdays from four on News Talk ZB. You know, it is such a ridiculous argument about whether Jacinda is going to go down in history as one of the greats. Of course she is. I mean, she will be considered one of the greatest prime ministers of this country because she made us feel proud. She made us feel proud of our collective response to the mosque shootings, proud of being a place that everyone else in the world wanted to be during COVID, even if we didn't necessarily agree with her policy responses, and proud also of being the kind of place where a woman can have a baby while prime minister and it's just not a big deal. The way that Jacinda made us feel on the global stage is actually her greatest achievement. She, I mean, let's be honest, didn't do that much else, but that is enough especially for a small trading nation like ours that is constantly fighting for attention and recognition on a crowded planet with a big brash neighbour right next to us. And what's also important here, I think, is that she is a Labour leader. It is always the Labour Prime Ministers who are marked down as the greats. Mickey Savage for rolling out social welfare. Norm Kirk for uttering one sentence that nailed what makes a good life. David Longy for standing up to the US on our nuclear free stance. Helen Clark for paying down our debt and getting the economy in a good place. I don't know why Labour leaders are marked down as the great ones and then the national leaders get overlooked. Maybe it's because the left write the history books. Possibly it's because the left write the history books. But whatever it is, the chances are in Jacinda's favour that teachers and grandparents will tell future generations how good she was. I mean, obviously, right now, we know that that story is much more complex. We know that her government did almost nothing. She leaves no lasting achievements. We know how angry a lot of people in this country are at her right now. So angry that she had to leave her job so she says she could take the heat out of it. But as time goes on, we will forget that. Future general generations will forget that and she will go down as one of the greats. And denying that, I think, is wishful thinking. Heather Duplessy Allen Drive, weekdays from four on News Talk ZB.